Today's children are immersed in a digital world, constantly engaging with smartphones and devices. This, combined with their rapidly changing anatomy and shorter near vision distance, means that standard single vision lenses designed for adults are not the best solution for young eyes. Let's hear from our expert, Dr. Jennifer Sai, about the Zeiss technologies and innovations created to address the unique vision needs of children in the Zeiss Smart Life Young Single Vision Lenses. Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Sai. I'm an optometrist in Manhattan, and I started my practice years ago, line of sight in New York City. Is so much screen time bad for their eyes? Am I even doing enough to protect them? Should I be worried about blue light? Is it worth spending money on their glasses? Well, yes, we also need better all-day correction lenses for children, adapted to the way their world, their eyes, and anatomy are evolving. There are multiple factors at play as children develop. Toddlers and preschoolers' world is mostly about playing and exploration. Though many of their undertakings are analog, studies show that 60% of children start engaging with digital devices before the age of five, specifically as educational and augmented toys rise. Although their screen time is monitored by their parents, their visual behavior start becoming very dynamic at this young age. For example, their near viewing distance changes from 20 to 30 centimeters depending on age. As our digital natives grow, their viewing distance to close objects obviously changes. So does their visual needs. As they go to school and are introduced to social and academic pressure, the way they use their eyes become more dynamic. They're switching more frequently between near and far, online and offline, using their smartphones while they walk and are, of course, always more conscious of how they look. Talking of looks, this graphic shows the facial morphology of a boy from age 6 to 16. With their faces evolving so much, considering individual parameters of wear, like pupil distance or frame data, for every age in children's optimized lens design is important. When it comes to pupils other than PD, this is also interesting. Similar to camera lenses, a larger pupil lets more peripheral rays enter the eye, which could result in a higher order monochromatic aberration that affects depth of focus. The adult's average pupil diameter starts to gradually decline from the age of 20. But in younger people, we actually see a rapid increase in average pupil diameter. This means that, especially in kids' lenses, considering age-related pupil size in the lens design can have an impact on visual acuity. But I haven't even touched on those questions from the parents yet. Of course, UV protection, blue light protection, and durability is also important. But I hope I managed to also shed some light on the other actually more crucial consideration when it comes to children's eye care and lens design.